Hi guys, so today we are going to see how to do ANOVA for your combined ANOVA for randomized block design using STAR software. So first of all, we will be seeing our raw data that is in your Excel format. So we are having three season data here. So three season data of 23 genotypes and uh, each genotype is uh, gone for three replications and we are taking only one character that is yield per client. So in my earlier videos I have told you how to save this excel file uh, for your star and pb tools. So click on file and just go to the save as option and select a place where you want to save this file and in the save as type so select this csv format comma delimited so i have already saved this file so i'm not going to save it again so that's how you have to save the excel file in the dot csv format so now just let us open the star software so this is the workspace for star so under the tab project click new project so type a project name rvd anova so click ok so under this folder data just press right click and click on import data so i have saved this in d drive inside the flow folder star space so just select this ypp that is in dot csv file format you can see the file extension here so just give open so a drop down menu just appears just uh, the right to the left side of this data folder just click on that and just give a double click on this dot csv file so you can see that the excel file will be opened in the SAR software so just make sure that it is open then only we can go for this analysis so under this tab analyze just go for analysis of variance so here you can choose from a variety of experimental designs so here i have used ran, uh, rbd randomized block design so i'll be going for this second option just click on that so here you can see you can add your response variable or variables so you can add multiple variables also at a time so just click on your uh, response variable and click add then remaining numerical variables has to be set to factor so just click on them and just click again on set to factor so now we have to assign each factors into appropriate rows so first i will select the season and just under this set tab just give this add into the first platform so again under this uh, box treatment we have to add your genotype and again in the box named block you have to add your replication data so this is how you have to set your data now you can see this uh, box set so under this there are two options you can either perform analysis uh, you can perform the ANOVA per set that means you can get I have uh, three season data so if you perform the first option so you will get three individual ANOVA for each environment or each season in the second option you can also do combined analysis or combined ANOVA where you will get a single ANOVA for all the three seasons and in the source of variation you will also get one extra source of variation named this g into e interaction that is or season into genotype interaction values and how whether it is significant or not so first i will show you this perform analysis per set just click on that and here in options you can also go for descriptive statistics for this response variables and also if you want you can go for partless tests for homogeneity so the significance level is set on 0.05 if you want you can also set it to 0.01 also but 0.05 is enough for us so just select whatever you want and click on ok so once the operation is completed 
in this output folder you can see the outputs so again in this rcbd output.txt this is your file where you can see all the ANOVA and your descriptive statistics so you can see here this is the um, analysis for season 1 for the trade yield per plant so you can see the descriptive statistics here the minimum maximum value and the standard deviation as you come along so you can see just uh, below that just for the homogeneity of variances and again below that this is your main thing that is your ANOVA table so here you can see the replication is not significant and genotype is the variance due to genotype is highly significant so you can see the summary statistics also below and as you come down you can also see the Tucky's homo significant difference or your HSD test and uh, and the corresponding rankings for your genotypes so after that you can see the similar way you can see an individual descriptive statistics and your ANOVA table for season 2 and also for your season 3 so this is how that analysis uh, per set works so also you can get some other plots also so here when you see in the left hand side you can see the first dot png that is your uh, diagram so that's the box plot you can also utilize this box plot for interpreting the mean performance and the second one is your uh, diagnosis plot for season one and you can see similarly for season 2 and season 3 so this can be this uh, especially this normal QQ plot can be used to, uh, to check whether your raw data is appropriate for further analysis so it should show a linear trend so it is showing somewhat a linear trend so our data is acceptable similarly for environment 2 it is acceptable and again for environment 3 also it is acceptable so this is just essential to check whether your data is okay or not but whatever we need mainly is this descriptive statistics and our ANOVA table so given that just again click this analyze and let's go for analysis of variance and again click on this RBD so it's again open that's why the error has shown so just click on your data file again so the analysis tab is already open that's why the error was shown so again click on the data file so it will be opened again just go for this model and click on now this uh, perform combined analysis so again everything is set earlier so if you cancel this then you have to start start over so just click on this perform combined analysis then again go for this options so if you want anything else so I, I am happy with the descriptive statistics so I am again clicking OK so once the operation is successful you can see the output so you can see that there is no dis uh, distinction between season 1, 2 and 3 because we have performed combined analysis so you can see the descriptive statistics here for uh, all the three seasons the Butler's test for homogeneity is also given by default and this is your combined ANOVA so here you can see some extra sources of variations such as replication within the season the genotype variation the seasonal variation and this is the main thing in your combined ANOVA that is your season into genotype or your genotype into environmental interaction so everything is significant in this data so you can also see the summary statistics and also the least significant difference or your LSD test and the corresponding rankings here also the HSD test is also given here so again you can see the diagnostic plot a single diagnostic plot will be available for combined ANOVA because we are not concerned about each uh, season we have combined all the seasons so can see the no uh, normal QQ plot so it is showing a linear trend so the data is again acceptable so that's all about uh, how to do this analysis of variance and your combined ANOVA for RBD so this is similar for uh, CRD also 
once you go you can see whatever you need uh, under this analysis tab you can do various experimental designs it is very much similar for everything and it is easy also to do in star software so that's all for today hopefully you can see in another video very soon thank you